In this video, I'm going to talk about this button right here, primary fields. I tend to get this question every week. People get tripped up on it, so I just want to set the record straight um, and tell you how to use it. So I'm going to show you how my data structure is set up for a second here. I have two data types. I've got my built-in user type and a car type. Under the car type, I've got the color of the car, the name, and also an owner field, which is a type user. Okay, so every car will have an owner that is one of my user records. And then under the user type, I also have a field for car so that we can tie the car back to the user and there's like a two-way reference there. I also have a lot of test fields here that you can ignore. So if we go to the app data tab and I'm looking at my car records, you'll notice that the owner field, again, this is a user value, is represented by the user's unique ID. Okay, now this is not the most helpful for um, differentiating, you know, being able to see which user's which when you're looking at it like this, it's just a string of numbers. Um, so what you wanna do is click on this primary fields button and you'll see that all of your custom types are represented by one of their fields. By default, Bubble's gonna set it to the unique ID. So all you gotta do is click on this button, open up this window, and change the field. So for user, it would be more helpful for me to identify them by their email address, for example. So I'll hit save on that. And then now I can see the owner uh, by their email instead of their unique ID. It's much easier for me. If I go over to the user's data, I have the same issue here. Cars are represented by their unique ID. It's not very helpful for me. Um, notice that I clicked on this uh, magnifying glass. This actually pulls up the exact same window as primary fields. Um, a, there's no difference there. So I'll click on that um, and I'll change the car to the name. That might be more useful. Okay, so now I can see the car records represented by their name and I'm able to understand my data a little bit better when I'm looking at it. Now keep in mind that primary fields, the, the primary field that you set it to for all your custom types, it has nothing to do with your workflows. It is purely for viewing your data here in this app data section. It's just for you. It's just a viewing preference. All right, and that's it. That's a pretty quick tip for you today. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, let me know what else you're interested in learning, and thanks for watching.